Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my top favorite foundations for special events. So I can't sit here and just give you one foundation because everyone has a different skin tone, a different skin type, and the foundation is going to vary depending on what kind of event you're going to. There's bridal makeup, nighttime events, daytime events, so I have quite a few to talk about. I have some for oily skin, dry skin, long wearing foundation, waterproof foundation, all types of foundations, and I'm also going to be talking about powders that I absolutely love for special events, for photography, videography, a foundation and a powder that's going to look good in person because that's obviously important because you're not the only one there at the event but also ones that are going to photograph nicely so I think that's super important so the first foundation that I'm going to talk about probably comes to no surprise if you've watched my videos before and it is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup this has been my ride or die foundation for such a long time so I have a whole review on this foundation I have like a first impressions review like when I first started really getting into double wear but I also have a more updated one with all of these swatches like I pretty much almost have all of the shades not all but I do have quite a few so I swatched them all on my arms so that you guys can see like what shade you are this foundation is so long wearing so this is the type of foundation that I recommend for someone who's gonna be out for more than like eight hours if you have a really long day ahead of you double wear is going to hold you down for sure it just doesn't budge I mean you could literally sweat and the makeup will not come off you know when you rub your nose by accident you have makeup on this won't come off like other ones do I love me a stick foundation but they just come off way too easily so this foundation doesn't even need to be set but I always set everyone's makeup including my own a lot of people are concerned because it does have some SPF the way to kind of work around that is either to use a shade that's a little bit darker than your skin tone and then just conceal or use a powder on top like a powder foundation that's your skin tone or a little bit darker and that way you won't have any issue so if you're gonna be going to a night time event whether it's a sweet 16 or something indoors and you're really scared for the flash photography but you really want to use this foundation just make sure you set the foundation with a darker powder use a lot of bronzer contour you know really warm up your face with blush and all that so you can do like a light layer of Estee Lauder double wear and then you could do something on top that doesn't have any SPF in it this way the foundation is really gonna last but you'll get the color that you want I wear this to events and I don't have flashback I don't have like that ghostly cast but I will say if I use like like a pinch too light and I do take a picture and flash I won't have ghost face but it'll look a little bit lighter so that's why I always make sure to really bronze up my face but this stuff is just insane it lasts so long and it doesn't look cakey as long as you use thin layers you don't want to use a thick amount or a lot of this because it will cake up this foundation is my go-to even in my kit because it just doesn't wear off this is a good foundation for any skin type I have dry skin I use it on oily skin I think it's just a classic go-to try it out if you have a really important event I would say try a foundation out beforehand you know don't wait till the day of your event to first try out a foundation check out the review if you want to hear more about it and the colors and all that but this is just one of my go-to's and I always always can go back on this one and rely on it because it does not budge it's pretty much waterproof which I love for events I typically will always recommend anyone to go for a matte finish because throughout the day you're gonna probably get sweaty or your natural oils are gonna come through and you can rely on highlight for a do but I always say matte is the way to go it photographs nicely and if you're not into a super matte foundation just kind of mix something in that's semi dewy into that foundation and then you'll get the perfect in between the next foundation that I want to recommend to you for special events is actually the one that I have on right now this is Dior air flash this is a spray foundation and you're supposed to spray it on your face but I don't do that I spray this onto a brush I feel like you'll waste less product you won't get it in your clothes in your hair and your eyebrows because the last thing you want for your special event is to have makeup all around your hair or on your really nice outfit if you get ready with your outfit on so this foundation just gives you such a great natural skin like finish this one's great for bridal makeup if you are getting married soon or you're a makeup artist and you're working on a bride try this foundation out the colors are a little tricky I currently have on shade 300 which I think is a good not too pink tone I wish they had more shades if they had more shades in this I would buy them all because the shades are a little bit pink which I don't really like but the finish just looks so natural and I feel like all of my other products go on so nicely that I'm not gonna have like a bad makeup day when I use this you know when you use a foundation and then you put your bronzer and it just sticks or just doesn't look good that's the last thing you want for your special day this has more of a satin finish and I just think it wears really nicely and it looks so flawless in pictures doesn't have like
like any kind of weird flashback or anything like that and it looks amazing in person like your pores everything just looks so seamless and smooth and you want to just shake it up you can either spray it in like small areas and then blend it out with a brush or a beauty blender or directly spray it onto whatever you're using I know some people don't like that like super plastered or like fake looking foundation like too much of a full coverage so this one still gives you coverage but feels like nothing like it still feels like it's your skin which I think is great for an event because you don't want to feel uncomfortable so Dior Air Flash is definitely one of my top picks for any special occasion daytime nighttime it's like using an airbrush machine without having to go through the trouble of using an airbrush machine it's definitely a hit for me next up is a foundation that's actually very similar to Estee Lauder Double Wear this is Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 makeup so this also has an SPF it's of 15 and this one is also just so long wearing it's very matte if you're very oily you are going to love this I've heard some people say they get oily with Estee Lauder Double Wear which is crazy to me because that stuff is like super glue but if that's the case for you if you're very very oily try this one and I love the colors that Lancome offers in this foundation I think they're great I think they have pinks yellows neutrals all types of undertones olive and it's just a good standard long wearing matte foundation it's gonna look good day and night same thing if your foundation has an SPF in it you can still use it for an event just make sure that you either set it with a powder foundation or you go a little bit darker like if you're in between two shades go for the little bit darker one because you don't want to have that flashback or any white cast or a lighter cast in your photos so this one's also great for weddings especially like daytime weddings because the oiliness is gonna be kept at bay this has just been one of my go-to's and my favorites for such a long time again it's a staple and I would totally rely on it for a special event it definitely got you covered girl my next foundation pick is for my girls or boys who like a more natural look if you have pretty good skin like normal skin you're gonna love this if you get really oily or if you're really really dry or if you have like acne scars or any pigmentation on your face this might not cover it on the first layer so this is a good like mixing foundation if you're using like SLR double wear but you kind of want to sheer it out you can use a makeup forever HD the colors in this line are spot on like they're so natural like they don't look obvious on the face for me this foundation isn't one that I want to like build up a lot that's not what I use this for this is the type of foundation that I will use if my client you know if she's getting married and she has great skin but I still want to put on foundation because everyone gets foundation if you're my client so if I still want to put foundation on you but you have great skin like not much to cover makeup forever HD comes in handy because it evens everything out you know let's say the face is a lot lighter than your body but you have really good skin and or you want your freckles to show or something like that you can use a a light layer of this and it's gonna look amazing beautiful for videos photos it just looks so good on camera flash no flash and in person as well it's just not gonna give you that much coverage if you want to use this and you really like that natural skin like finish but you do have some pigmentation just make sure you color correct or you know spot conceal and you're still gonna get that great skin like finish so makeup forever HD I mean it's called HD for a reason this is definitely one that I always 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 keep in my kits either to mix in with foundation or to use alone it's definitely a great one for my drugstore option but I don't want to call it just my drugstore option because it's a great foundation like cost aside it's one of my top favorite foundations of all time trust me I've tried a lot of foundations and I've worn foundations to events and just I haven't felt my best this is L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible oh my gosh this is so bomb I mean it's from the day that this came out I've been riding for this foundation it's just so good I've literally had brides record Request this for good reason because it just looks so good the lighter shades for me are kind of not as great because they're leaning more on the pink side unless you have pink undertones then that'll work great for you but like shades 107 106 108 they have a nice golden yellow undertone and a lot of people try foundations that are too light for them and end up hating it because if a foundation is too light on you it's going to accentuate things that you didn't even know you had so it'll look dry and weird and overcast and just strange so you want to make sure you get your right shade that's very important so I think L'Oreal Infallible has just such amazing golden yellow undertones and I think it's very flattering so sometimes a dewy foundation is nice and all but a couple hours later I feel like my pores are emphasized I feel like the foundation is slipping I'm a sweater so I need something that's going to last so this has the longevity of Estee Lauder Double Wear but it's not as thick so once you pour out Estee Lauder Double Wear you'll know what I'm talking about it's a little bit more on the thick side where this is more of like a whipped creamy foundation but it's 
still kind of fluid. This one will blend out faster than the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I feel like they last just as long. I've worn both to events that I was sweating, that I was so hot. I've worn this on vacation and it just doesn't budge. I'll sweat and the sweat will just be on top. It looks so good in pictures, flash photography. All these foundations pretty much are, you know, flash approved. Just some you have to work with a little bit more like Estee Lauder Double Wear, Lancome. You do have to work a little bit more with those two, but you can still wear them for your special day. This is one that if you have a nighttime event, this is amazing. There's something about this that just makes your skin look so smooth and so flawless and full coverage. I love the yellow undertones. Best drugstore foundation in my opinion. I like Maybelline Fit Me as well and I still have to try the CoverGirl one, but this one tops them all for me. If you are very, very dry, like super dry, just mix in a little bit of the L'Oreal Pro Glow with this one and you have a match made in heaven and it will not come off during your event or during your special day so definitely one you can rely on this next one is the Mac Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Now wait, this one is different than their regular MAC foundations. I know what you're thinking. Oh, MAC breaks me out. I don't like the colors. They test me wrong. They color match me wrong. The Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation is different than their traditional foundation. So I was one that would always say like, MAC breaks me out. I can't use MAC foundations because I don't know what time I tried it and I might have broken out. But trust me on this one, it's different. It's not like that cakey look that you're thinking. I feel like people discredit MAC so much and maybe it's because they had a bad experience. Some of my staple staple products are MAC. So this foundation is a waterproof foundation. I have only one shade in this, NC25. I need to pick up more for my kit but I use this on a bride in DR and her makeup lasted all day, all night. It was still on the next day. So that just goes to show you how waterproof this foundation is. There were tears involved. There was sweat. Boy there was sweat involved. It was Hot. It was DR, it was tropical, and it stayed on. I did mix Estee Lauder Double Wear in with this, and I think one other foundation because of the shade. If you know you're gonna be crying, if you know you're gonna be sweating, if you're going to like a concert or something outdoors, definitely MAC waterproof foundation. It's a great destination wedding foundation, a summer foundation, or a summer wedding foundation. It's so good for any outdoor events. So if you're gonna be sweating, you don't want your makeup running off, you don't want your makeup just dripping off. It's just not good. This one isn't like thick. Like when you think MAC foundations, you're thinking, oh, it's thick, I can't blend it. No, this one's so different. It's creamy and it's liquidy and it's very like spreadable, is that a word? It moves very easily, so definitely one that you should consider even if you've boycotted MAC. I mean, if you don't use MAC because of other reasons, then obviously not, but definitely check these out. And the colors are a lot better, I feel like, in this foundation than in just like their other ones because they're just a little bit more neutral. They're a little bit more realistic, in my opinion, and not orange like some MAC foundations are. So, MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Next up, I have two NARS foundations. I have have this one which is the sheer glow and then this one which is the all day oops here we are all day luminous foundation the reason why I stopped using this was because it just didn't work out for me the way I was using it. So the best way to use this foundation is with your hands. So literally apply with your hands and then blend it out. The reason why I'm mentioning these NARS foundations is yes, they're great foundations, they're long wearing, but if you have a special event and you are a stickler for matching foundations, like it can't be off not one bit, then NARS got you because I feel like NARS really kills the shade range. These don't oxidize, they don't change in color, they're just true to color and NARS caters to every skin tone which I appreciate so much. Literally go into NARS and check out their shade range or just look up the reviews. People are always stating that no foundation has ever matched them but NARS did. So for that I have to mention these in my favorite foundations for events or special occasions because you will not see demarcation lines. If you get matched correctly or if you match yourself correctly in NARS, it's just gonna look so good color wise. And I really like Sheer Glow. I think if you hear Sheer Glow, you're gonna think it's a glowy foundation but it's not it means it has a sheer glow to it so it's more of a like skin like satin finish once it's blended in so you do have to set this one especially if you're oily and then the all-day luminous to me isn't that luminous for me this is very very 
skin like almost matte on the skin which is crazy because they call it all day luminous but these are great foundations if you are a stickler for foundation matching and if you've never found a color that matches you if you have a strong yellow undertone or an olive undertone or if you have a deeper skin complexion and you haven't found your match check out NARS Essay Lauder is also good for foundations and Lancome so those are like my top three as far as perfect skin tones especially for deeper or medium skin I also love this one the sheer glow mixed in with other foundations because this one's very fluid and I feel like it just works well with others these are not gonna be as long lasting on their own as Estee Lauder Double Wear Lancome 24 hour L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible but mixed in with those they work very well they're team players so yes I do love these and I think for shades NARS just kills it kills it every single time I'm talking all types of foundations but my last one that I want to mention is one that I use more as a mixer so this is Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation this one mixed in with cover FX mixed in with your mixed in with anything is so gorgeous because this one looks so porcelain it just this one makes you look like a doll but I don't like it on its own because it's more on the sheer side so unless you have amazing skin I don't know if this will work for you also the shades I'm not crazy crazy in love with I wish they had more variety like I feel like there are a lot of pink undertones goldy undertones which I'm not crazy for but it's a great one if you want a nice like velvet porcelain doll kind of look like if you want to look airbrushed this one also this one makes in with the Dior literally your skin will look so smooth you just have to find the right shades in those they're both tricky when it comes to shades if your skin tone isn't too hard to find like a match in then check this one out luminous silk I always keep it just around just in case I want to make something a little bit more fluid if something's just a little too thick because you don't want to feel super heavy on your big day so mixing foundations is great I just suggest trying out the mix a week or two or three before your big day before the event just to see how long it lasts how it's wearing on your skin how it just you know reacts with other products so this one to me is a good mixer if you feel like any other foundation is just not quite right you want to have the perfect blend for your so now very very quickly I'm just gonna go through some of the powders that I suggest for special events for weddings for your big day so these are also just powders that I recommend for anyone and everyone but especially for your big day so the first powder that I want to mention is Mac studio fix powder this is actually a powder foundation it is going to pack a lot of punch when it comes to coverage it's going to add color so if you want to customize something if something's too light too dark or like with the Estee Lauder if you feel like you're scared for the flashback use Mac studio fix powder on top in your color or a little bit deeper it's gonna cancel like that flashback in a way but it's also going to lock that foundation in. this is very matte very full coverage you want to press this in with a powder brush or your beauty blender if you want ultimate longevity for your big day you want to just press this in like I said it has a lot of coverage which I used to use this like for everyday kind of makeup but it's just way too much for me so I rely on this just for special occasions nighttime events where I'm gonna be sweating dancing you know all that jazz and I really want my skin to look super flawless in photos and I don't want like any discoloration showing or peeking through throughout the night this is it this is so great you can use it even as like a bronzer or under your eye I always use this under the eye to brighten on all of my clients pretty much so I really love this if you have amazing skin try this just as a powder foundation I think it'll look so good especially for oily areas you know you can just just press this in and it's really going to lock it in place so definitely a staple for me and it's MAC Studio Fix Powder. For baking or for underneath the eyes or for super oily skin, I mean, do I even have to mention this? Laura Mercier Translucent Powder always, always comes through. It's a powder that I can really, really recommend to anyone for a special occasion. So if you're not one to bake, you know, on a daily basis, you think it's too drying, trust me, for a special event, it's okay if your skin is looking a little bit more on the dry side than normal because throughout the day you're going to get you know your natural oils coming through the setting spray it's just gonna wear in a little bit better so don't be alarmed if you feel like it's a little bit dry at first hit yourself with some Mac fix plus some setting spray some urban decay whatever you want to use even some water whatever you want to use and it's just gonna melt into the skin throughout the day this just looks better and better and baking is the best way to lock in your concealer for your event you don't want creasing it's just something you don't want to deal with if you have oily skin you can definitely get away with just setting your whole face with this my skin's just a little bit too 
dry for that, but I love it for underneath the eyes and it just really keeps everything in place. And no flashback here. The key to baking without flashback is to really remove that powder, like to really dust it away. If you leave powder underneath your eyes, like if you don't dust it well, of course you're gonna get flashback because that powder is just sitting on top. So really make sure to remove it. Use less powder when you're baking. Use a brush, use a beauty blender. Try this makeup before your event so you can really ensure the best look for yourself. If you are getting married soon, start trying products out now and wear them throughout the whole day. Take pictures, have someone take pictures of you outside. Literally try it all, see what people say about your skin throughout the day. But Laura always got you covered, especially for underneath the eyes. This next powder is a powder for someone who thinks that MAC Studio Fix is just a little bit too much on top of a foundation. If that's just too much coverage or too much cake, then definitely this one's for you. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is such a great lightweight foundation for all skin types. If you're very oily, you still want to maybe, you know, use a different type of powder in your T-zone or wherever you get oily, but this foundation, powder, whatever you want to call it, is amazing for photography or just like in real life because it leaves such a flawless airbrush smooth finish. It's very expensive, but it's so worth it. I've already gone through three of these. It's that good and it just looks like skin. If you feel like your foundation has done enough with the coverage and you don't want to alter it, then just set your face with this and I'm telling you, you're going to look like a doll. It just, it looks so good on the skin. It's worth the investment. I'm telling you, powder foundations or powders can go so wrong because if they leave a cast, if they leave you a weird tint, a weird color, it's going to mess up your makeup. You can use a great foundation like L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible and if you put on a powder that's just not doing it for you, it's not even gonna look like you have a good foundation on because the powder is gonna overtake everything. It really is important to get a good powder to set. All that hard work and all that money you put into that foundation, you really want to invest in a powder. I used to not do that and I wondered why my makeup didn't look good in pictures or it just didn't last long. It's because I wasn't setting it with a good powder. This next one is Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. This is a great one for oily skin, for sweaty skin, for the T-zone. Has some coverage, not too much. It'll give you a little bit of a skin color, like a little bit of a tint. You just want to lightly just set your whole face with this. <laughs> This has a matte finish but doesn't look dry or cakey or ashy or anything like that. It just looks like skin but very matte. And I love that because like I said, I'm dry but I have an oily T-zone. It's so weird. So I'm getting some combination and I sweat a lot. This is a good one for the summertime. This is also a great one for touch-ups because it doesn't cake up. The Charlotte Tilbury as well. That one's great also for underneath your eyes. This one I mainly use like just, you know, in the places where I get a little oily which is like right in between my eyebrows, on my nose. Like just just right on the bridge and around the nose because I feel like foundation will wear off there. So anywhere where you really want to like lock it in and mattify, Dual Matte by Makeup Forever. It's amazing. And the last powder foundation or powder to set your foundation is the Armani Luminous Silk Compact. The thing with this one is that it never looks dry. If you have very dry skin, you're going to love this. I think this is a great one for events in the fall or, you know, when it's not too hot out because this one almost, it's not a dewy finish. It's not a luminous finish but it's a satin finish it doesn't look matte it just looks hydrated which is insane for a powder if you have very dry skin or you're using a very matte foundation and you think a matte powder on top is just way too much then this one is for you and again it's not glittery or anything but it just looks so airbrushed and not cakey at all it took me a while to get this because it is pricey but I've gone through three of these as well so that just goes to show you that it's a great foundation powder to set your face so those are some powders that I recommend. Those are pretty much the ones I use. I mean, I do use other ones on people for events like Benefit Hello Flawless. I like the Laura Mercier powder, like the actual press powder, but these are ones that I rely on. As a freelance makeup artist, it is so important for me to really ensure that my client's makeup is going to look good throughout the whole day and night, in pictures, in video, and in person, and that it's just going to last. It's going to look good. It's not going to wear cakey. It's not going to look weird or anything. These will hold you down. They're long-lasting. Summer, come heat, come winter, these are going to hold you down. So those were all of the foundations and powders that I recommend for your special event. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm missing out on a foundation that's amazing for events, let me know because I would love to purchase it.
it. I want to do this for a couple of other categories because I feel like I get some of these questions pretty frequently like this one, what foundation should I wear for my wedding or for a big event? Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and check to see if you're still subscribed. There's a little bell, click it because that's the only way to get notified that I'm posting a video because for some reason my videos just don't come up on subscription feeds which really sucks. So a lot of people are getting unsubscribed from my channel just out of the blue, like not purposely. It'll really help me out if you just click the bell and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. I'm working on a schedule for my posts, just trying to figure out what days you guys like watching my videos, what times, but I'm definitely working on that so I can be a lot more consistent with my posting. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.